Daf Today we're going to be discussing ten different categories of tumah. We need to know that when it comes to a Jewish woman, there's no difference between dry dam and moist dam. She's tummy in both of them. But when it comes to mayonnaise, when it comes to spit and meiraglayim, then it must be moist in order for it to be metama. When it comes to a guy midiraisa, there's no dam nida and dam ziva. According to Beishamai, the dam of a goy is not metam at all. However, according to Beishilel, the Rabbanu were goyzer that should be tomei, belach, moist dam is tomei, and not yavish. Next category is the dam of a yuledes, that's a metzoyro. Dam tahara of a metzoyro. In other words, if a woman, for instance, gives birth to a girl, she has 14 days of tomei and 66 days of tahara. During those 66 days of tahara, where her dam is supposed to be tar, she became a Metzoira and saw dam. So according to Beishamai, she's completely tar. According to Beishilel, she's Tome. A Jewish woman, a Yerledes, who during her 66 days, her dam is tar, but she didn't go to the mikveh yet. So according to Beishamai, her dam, if it's moist, she's Tome. Even though, it's and it's like her spit, that's Tome. Even though spit has to gather and then come out, and dam doesn't have to gather. And they still say, even if it's dry, it's tome. Now, Bishamai or Moida, if she's a Yuledes, Bezoiv. Meaning, a woman during her 11 days of Ziva saw dam three days in a row. She becomes a Zavagdaila, and she has to wait seven days of clean days to be tar. But instead of seeing seven days of tar, she gave birth. So now she has to wait. For 14 days, let's say she gave birth to a girl, she has to wait 14 days for Tumah girl, and then only afterwards start the seven day clean count. Sebi Shammai, even if the dam then is dry, she is Tumah. In the whole parish of Ziva, it says, Yisrael. the concept of Ziva is only for a Jew, and not a guy, but a Bono or Geyser. And they made a distinction, a hacker, so we should, there shouldn't be confusion. So according to Basil, the distinction is that by a Ziva of a guy, it's only when it's moist. And by Yisrael, it's even when it's dry. And according to Bishamai, it's completely tar, so that there shouldn't be confusion, and Jews shouldn't say that their dam is tar. What about mayonnaise? Spit and may glime of a goy. The Allah is that it has to be moist, just like a zav, it has to be moist. And you don't have to make a distinction in a heker because it's so common. The carry of a goy, says Rava, according to Basilel, it's tar, as we're going to see soon, it's tar, and that's the heker. To say that there's a distinction between a Jew and a guy. And you see in the Braisa that this concept of tar, that the carries tar by a guy, is not only with the but it's also with the Rabbana, because it says in the Braisa that a guy, a guy's zera, that a Jewish woman expelled from her body is tar. Only if it comes together with the Meira Glam of a guy. And the whole concept of Meira Glam of a guy is with the Rabbana. So it says, that if this is the Rabbanon, Meiraglaim, then it's Tomei. Otherwise, even with the Rabbanon, it's Tar. A guy that sees Ziva, a man that sees Ziva, even according to Bishamai, he's Tomei, because there's already a distinction between a guy and a Jew when it comes to Kerry. Now, why didn't they make that distinction in the Zav himself? They should say the Zav is Tar, and the Valkyrie is Tomei, for instance. Since Ziva comes without any action, Mashiach and Kari takes action from the person. We explain that action that it takes from a person to, to be about Kari, that makes him be considered loy shchiach. Even though Kari is much more shchiach in reality than Ziva, but it's in the category of loy shchiach because, explains the Taisa Rosh, it, it doesn't happen on its own. Rapapa had a Suffolk. We know from Har Sinai that the men had to separate from the women for three days because of the zera. The zera lasts for three days. After three days, it doesn't last. It's not considered zera anymore because it can't produce children. The question is, is that Allah adapted by a Jew or also by a guy? Do the Goyish body, does it work different than the Jewish body? Why? Because Jews have mitzvah and avers, and they're worried about their mitzvah and so that heats up the body and it spoils the zera. Maybe a guy also spoils the zera because he eats shkotsim and ramas and the Gemara remains in the takeo. Next category is the mayonnaise of a Mitzayra. In other words, the spit and the meraglam of a Mitzayra, of a man. According to Basil and Meshamai, we learn from the, from the Keva. And according to Wamshah, we learn from the word Lazahar. 
the Mitzuras, a female Mitzura, from the word Linekeva, but we cannot learn it out from the Zachar. Why? The Zachar is much more Chomer than a Nekeva, so therefore you can't learn a Nekeva from Zachar. Why is Zachar more Chomer? Because he has Priya and Prima. He has to let his hair grow and he has to let he has to have ripped clothes. And it's also also from Betashmish. Mela, and a woman doesn't have those three things. You can't learn a Nekeva from a Zachar. What about Dam during the days of Tahar that a woman has? Is Dam itself Tomei? According to Basilil, if it's Lach, it's like the Mayonis of Mitzur, like spit, because we learn it out from the Pasuk La Zachar, Bishami say that Pasuk is not extra, and therefore it's completely tar. We know that a Zav, the first time he sees Ziva, it's not a Zav. He's like in the category of a Balkari, and he could go to the Mikveh that same night. The question is, what about a Zav who's a baby, a minor, under nine years old? Do we say since he's not in the parish in the category of carry at all until he's nine years old, so his carry, his ziva, is not metame? Or perhaps since if he sees two emissions, he becomes a zav, so that means that the first one and the second one need to combine, and therefore the first one should be tame even without the second one. So Rav brings a ride from a brisa that says in the brisa, zois toras hazav. There's no difference between a gadol and a katan, even a minor. He's like a gadol, just like a gadol. The first riyah, the first time he sees an emission. It is. The mission itself is Tomei. So too, a cut in his first mission is Tomei. Have a wonderful day.